Hey guys, it's Andrew from HTC One Softwater, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get S off on your HTC One with Firewater. Now, before we get started, you're going to want to make sure that your phone is rooted, that you have HTC Sync uninstalled from your computer, that you have no security in your on your lock screen. So to check that, go to Settings in your app drawer, go down to um, Security, and then make sure Screen Lock says None. You're going to also want to make sure that under your power settings, you have fast boot disabled. But make sure the checkbox isn't there. And you're also going to want to make sure that you have under developer options, that you have them enabled, and that you have the USB debugging enabled. After that, you're going to want to install a RHD. That's a custom ROM that comes with an insecure kernel. And that's what you need in order for Firewater to work on it. So before you get started, just open up any internet browser. Using the link in our full tutorial, go to the ARHD XDA, XDA page and go to the 52.0 um, download. Okay, after your download is complete, you're going to want to start your phone into recovery mode. And in order to do that, just hold down the power and the volume button until it starts in bootloader. Okay, once you're in your bootloader menu, using the volume down button, set recovery and then confirm it by pressing the power button. Mm -hmm. After that, you'll see that it says enter and recovery, and then you'll be greeted by the TWRP menu. Okay, now once you boot it into recovery, you're going to want to go ahead and wipe your partitions so that you could install the new ROM. So go ahead and delete the first four. Swipe to wipe. After the wipe is finished, go back to the home, click on install, and select the AERHD zip that you downloaded. When, after you swipe to wipe, you're gonna it's gonna greet you with the aroma installer, and go ahead and just continue with that process. Agree to the terms, click on next. Don't wipe the partitions again, and then select any extra apps you want to install. Here are some more, and then you can install some tweaks as well. So by default, you can install Expose, but that's not needed because you're just gonna do S off first, and you go back and reflash the ROM as you needed. Continue with the process and then let it install. Okay, once the download is finished, click on next, finish, and then you'll be able to reboot your system. All right, now once your phone is done rebooting, it'll greet you with the welcome screen so that you have to set up the phone as if it was brand new. So just go ahead and click on next and continue on with that. Okay, now that you set up your phone, make sure that you, under your settings, that you have fast boot disabled under the power menu that you have your developer options enabled and that you have USB debugging enabled and also that under security that you do not have any pattern lock or anything. After that, connect your device to your computer and then we'll be taken over from there. Okay, once your phone is connected to your computer, you're going to want to download Firewater. The link to that would be in the full description under the full tutorial. After you download it, place it onto your desktop as like so and then you'll be able to start pushing it to your device. So the first thing you want to do is reboot your phone and allow it to reboot. Give it a few minutes. All right, now once your phone is restarted, you're going to want to uh, push Firewater to your device. So you're going to type in ADB, push desktop dash Firewater, space data, data, local temp. After it's been ascending, open up an ADB shell. After that happens, type in SU to get super easy permission. You may want to check your phone to see if a permission request came up. If not, just continue. You then type in chmod 755 data local temp. Firewater. After that, you're going to be able to run Firewater. So type in data local temp Firewater. Firewater will then start. Agree to the terms. Okay, after typing yes, Firewater will run on your phone. And then after that, you'll have that saw. To double check this, you'll have to restart your phone. So one so you could open up a new terminal window.
type in ADB reboot bootloader. Okay, once your phone starts into bootloader, you'll be able to see that your phone does say that it is unlocked and has S off. And there you have it, folks. You now have a phone that is rooted, unlocked bootloader, and is as off. So feel free to you change your CID or upgrade your firmware as you please. Hope this helped you guys. There is going to be a link to the full tutorial in the description. And like always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good one, guys.